Dear students, in this tutorial you will find three important tricks to find the domain of a function. What is domain? You have already know this one and uh, if you don't know, uh, you will find the uh, tutorial on the function in the description box. Please see this one. Now what are the three important uh, tricks I want to show here? First trick is you should remember that 1 by x is a real that means the output of 1 by x because you know this is a function isn't it f of x is equal to 1 by x and this 1 by x is real if x is not is equal to 0 this is very important next is suppose you have a function f of x in this way root over x and it is also real if x is greater than or equal to 0 and third one is if you have a function like this f of x is equal to 1 upon root over x and it is also real that means the output of this function is real if x is greater than 0 and obviously we will um, see a difference between the second and third. What is the difference in the second you will find that in the x is greater than or equal to 0 but in the third one you are getting x is greater than 0 because you know if the denominator is equal to 0 then the uh, f of x will be indeterminate isn't it so in this case you cannot take x is equal to 0 okay only you will get x is greater than or equal to 0 that means you can put only the values of x which are more than 0 isn't it yeah, and no value of x can be less than 0 because you don't you know root over of minus 25 this is not real root over minus 25 is 5i iota so this is a complex value since we are uh, studying with real valued function so in this case domain and range both are uh, subsets of real number or mm, the total set real number so yeah, these three are very important using these three concepts you will find that how to uh, find the domain of the uh, uh, functions okay okay i take a function say f of x is equal to 1 divided by x square minus twice x minus 3 if you factorize it you will find it is 1 upon x plus 1 into x minus 3 and if, we, if it is asked to find the domain of this function obviously what will be the domain in this case you see uh, the denominator cannot be equal to 0 and denominator cannot be equal to 0 only when x is um, equal to minus 1 if you put x is equal to minus 1 then denominator will be 0 and the function will be invalid and again if you put x is equal to 3 then also the function will be in indeterminate form so you can neither put x is equal to minus 1 or x is equal to 3 so that means uh, the domain will be r minus these two values minus 1 and 3 so the domain is this one r minus minus 1 and 3 next i want to show another function the function is say f of x is equal to root over of x minus 1 as earlier i said that this expression root over of this expression and x minus 1 is a polynomial this polynomial cannot be uh, negative that means x minus 1 will always be greater than or equal to 0 for this the function f of x will be real okay that means x is greater than or equal to 1 now if you draw the real line suppose this is uh, going to negative infinity this is positive infinity and in between you are putting the value 1 okay 1 now what is uh, given x is greater than or equal to 1 that means you will start from 1 and go to right side and going to infinity and infinity is not a point you mind it this is a sense of increasing numbers and uh, you cannot put a full stop you can go on and on on the right side of one so the domain of this function will be what will be the domain domain will be you will start with from one and end uh, you cannot end it infinity only infinity is always open because there cannot be uh, you cannot put a full stop there and one so minimum value is one and you are going to infinity positive infinity that means x lies in between one and infinity okay one and infinity this is the domain of the function next i want to show another function 
if you have a function like this f of x is equal to 1 divided by a root over of x minus 1 in this case as i earlier said that 1 by root over expression if you have a root over expression in the denominator in this case this expression should be greater than 0 you cannot put equal to 0 because if x minus 1 is equal to 0 then 1 divided by 0 is indeterminate isn't it for this you have to write this one x minus 1 is greater than only greater than 0 if you want fx to be a real number real number isn't it so x is greater than 1 now you draw the real line say this is infinity and this is negative infinity from the left side and uh, the point uh, is here 1 okay this is 1 and since x is greater than 1 so you can go on the right side of 1 to infinity isn't it but excluding 1 excluding 1 because it is given that x is greater than on 1 this is not x is greater than or equal to 1 not written x is only greater than 1 because in root over x minus 1 is in the denominator okay for this what will be the domain domain of this function is starting with 1 and going to infinity and both are open this is open interval or you can write it in this way also one less than x less than infinity in this way also you can represent represent so this is the domain of the function f of x so simple another example i want to show or for you also i want to give a task if you can you must write it in the comment section and do it yourself uh, if it is a function f of x is equal to 1 divided by root over of 1 minus x then what will be the domain okay find it write it in your comment section okay another example i want to show so the function is like this f of x is equal to root over whole root x minus 2 divided by x minus 3 as you see the denominator has root over x minus 3 so obviously x is not is equal to 3 isn't it x is not is equal to 3 moreover the expression whatever i have written this is a polynomial divided by polynomial written in whole root in this case since you have the whole root and expression okay and expression so this expression uh, will be of obviously greater than or equal to 0 that means x minus 2 divided by x minus 3 is greater than or equal to 0 now what are the critical points the critical points are 2 3 2 and 3 so i want to plot these points on the real line say this is the real line positive infinity this is to negative infinity plot the points respectively 2 and 3 this is the first point 2 and uh, 3 you have to arrange the points in the ascending order now your total real line is divided into three sub intervals one is minus infinity to 2 next one is 2 to 3 and another one is 3 to infinity moreover since x is not is equal to 3 it is here x is not is equal to 3 so you have to discard the point x is equal to 3 but you have to take x is equal to 2 why do i take x is equal to 2 because if you put x is equal to 2 in this expression then you will find that 2 minus 2 is equal to 0 0 divided by 2 minus 3 that is minus 1 so 0 by minus 1 is also 0 and 0 is equal to 0 because there is greater than or equal sign so 0 equal to 0 is a true statement so we can take x is equal to 2 but x is not is equal to 3 now come to the wavy curve method you know the wavy curve method i have discussed on it if you do not know then you obviously see the tutorial i shall give it in the uh, description box now x minus 2 and 3 are the uh, critical points and uh, the first uh, uh, interval that is 3 to infinity is positive why do i write it positive you obviously see this the tutorial and uh, you are at the critical point 3 and the factor is x minus 3 its power is 1 so the sign will be changed so i have changed the sign negative now 
you are at the critical point 2 and uh, factor is x minus 2 its power is 1 1 is odd number so you have to change again the sign so sign is here now plus earlier it was negative now you see what are the inequality sign the inequality sign is greater than or equal so since the inequality sign is greater than or equal to so for this you have to take the only positive intervals that means minus infinity to plus 2 and another one is 3 to positive infinity okay so the domain or the values of x will lie in between minus infinity to 2 2 will be closed here because i have said that 2 is included and union with the open interval 3 to infinity you see 3 is discarded because x minus 3 is in the denominator so x minus 3 is not is equal to 0 for this x is equal to 3 is discarded so the 3 comma infinity is taken as open interval so this is the domain of the function f of x is equal to root over x minus 2 whole divided by x minus 3 so these are a few examples I have shown and uh, I think these are very clear to you. If you do not understand, if you have any question, obviously you should put uh, your comment in the uh, comment section and I shall be happy if you uh, solve the earlier one that I have given you to uh, show. So you will uh, find the domain of this function f of x is equal to 1 divided by root over 1 minus x. Thank you. Have a nice day.